Character is like a tree and reputation like a shadow. The shadow is what we think of it. The tree is the real thing. Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. You can fool all the people some of the time, and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Most folks are about as happy as they make their minds up to be. No man has a good enough memory to be a successful liar. Human action can be modified to some extent, but human nature cannot be changed. Love is the chain to lock a child to its parent. There are no bad pictures. That's just how your face looks sometimes. You can tell the greatness of a man by what makes him angry. Common looking people are the best in the world. That is the reason the Lord makes so many of them. He has a right to criticize who has a heart to help. Tact, the ability to describe others as they see themselves. A farce or comedy is best played. A tragedy is best read at home. Upon the subject of education, not presuming to dictate any plan or system respecting it, I can only say that I view it as the most important subject which we as a people can be engaged in. For people who like that kind of a book, that is the kind of book they will like. I am rather inclined to silence, and whether that be wise or not, it is at least more unusual nowadays to find a man who can hold his tongue than to find one who cannot. You can fool some of the people all the time, and all the people some of the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. I don't like that man. I must get to know him better. When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot and hang on. You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading it today. Better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak out and remove all doubt. Leave nothing for tomorrow which can be done today. Adhere to your purpose and you will soon feel as well as you ever did. On the contrary, if you falter and give up, you will lose the power of keeping any resolution and will regret it all your life. And in the end it is not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. We can complain because rose bushes have thorns, or rejoice because thorn bushes have roses. Every man's happiness is his own responsibility. If I am killed, I can die but once, but to live in constant dread of it is to die over and over again. Nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. I would rather be a little nobody than to be an evil somebody. I have been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction that I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for that day. Always bear in mind that your own resolution to success is more important than any other thing. 
I'm a success today because I had a friend who believed in me and I didn't have the heart to let him down. I have a congenital aversion to failure. I happen temporarily to occupy this big white house. I am living witness that any one of your children may look to come here as my father's child has. The greatest fine art of the future will be the making of a comfortable living from a small piece of land. I am not bound to win, but I am bound to be true. I am not bound to succeed, but I am bound to live by the light that I have. I must stand with anybody that stands right, and stand with him while he is right, and part with him when he goes wrong. And having thus chosen our course, without guile, and with pure purpose, let us renew our trust in God, and go forward without fear, and with manly hearts. Human nature will not change. In any future great national trial, compared with the men of this, we shall have as weak and as strong, as silly and as wise, as bad and as good. What is to be, will be, and no prayers of ours can arrest the decree. Let every American, every lover of liberty, every well-wisher to his posterity, swear by the blood of the revolution, never to violate in the least particular the laws of the country, and never to tolerate their violation by others. I claim not to have controlled events, but confess plainly that events have controlled me. I know not how to aid you, save in the assurance of one of mature age and much severe experience that you cannot fail if you resolutely determine that you will not. I have not permitted myself, gentlemen, to conclude that I am the best man in the country, but I am reminded, in this connection, of the story of an old Dutch farmer who remarked to a companion once that it was not best to swap horses while crossing streams. I have stepped out upon this platform that I may see you and that you may see me, and in the arrangement I have the best of the bargain. The demon of intemperance ever seems to have delighted in sucking the blood of genius and of generosity. This is a world of compensations, and he who would be no slave must consent to have no slave. Those who deny freedom to others deserve it not for themselves, and, under a just God, cannot long retain it. As I would not be a slave, so I would not be a master. This expresses my idea of democracy. In giving freedom to the slave, we assure freedom to the free, honorable alike in what we give and what we preserve. We shall nobly save or meanly lose the last best hope of earth. You think slavery is right and should be extended, while we think slavery is wrong and ought to be restricted. That, I suppose, is the rub. It certainly is the only substantial difference between us. The one victory we can ever call complete will be that one which proclaims that there is not one slave or one drunkard on the face of God's green earth.